technology world teaches us. So first I'm going to teach you how to hold a yarn and the importance of yarn. Um, yarn is expensive. Honestly, this can be hundreds of dollars or it can be about five dollars. And it's very important to feel the yarn against the soft, the most sensitive part of your skin. So the neck, if you're making a scarf, or your hand, the back of your wrist, or if you're making a glove, this is very, very soft yarn. When you hold the yarn, you hold it with this hand, and you kind of wrap it loosely around your finger. It's very important not to have it too tight or too loose because that controls your tension. If you have too loose, your stitches are going to fall off and they're going to be too holy. If it's too tight, you're going to have a really tough time inserting the needle into your stitches and continuing throughout your um, scarf. So holding it loosely around your finger like this. Holding your needles, you kind of hold them like if you were eating food, but you're pointing up. They usually cross in front of each other, and you move the right hand the most as you knit. Needles can be very thick, or they can be very thin. There's double-pointed needles for when you're making something in the round, which means it has, um, it's connected. It's like if you were to make a glove or some leg warmers. Um, there's also circular needles, which are needles connected by a um, piece of plas plastic kind of cable that are connected like this, that are also used to make circular pieces and also preferred by many women who find that the weight of their piece on their left hand um, hurts them or it's easier to have it in the middle balance between both hands. Alright, now the knit stitch is the most basic stitch of all stitches and that's one, one I'm going to teach you today. You're going to insert your right hand needle up between the first stitch like this. So you're kind of pulling it apart, making a hole right here. And you're going to take your finger that has the yarn and you're going to wrap it around the right needle like this. And then you're going to push it down through the hole and then push that stitch off. And now it's now on this right hand needle. Again, push it up through the hole. Now tension will make it difficult if it's too tight to push up. Push it up through the hole. Wrap around. Push down and push off like that. And that's a knit stitch. You can use that to make fabric that is, um, if you notice, you can look around and look at your own fabric. There, it's kind of like um, little arrows like that. It's called um, stockinette stitch. And you see it on my clothes right here, stockinette stitch. If you continue in the knit and you go row after row after row, it'll make a stockinette stitch on one side and then on the, what they call the wrong side. It'll make a garter stitch, which is kind of, do you see the difference on my clothes? This is arrows and this is the garter stitch, the lines like that. And that is how you hold the yarn, hold the needles, and make, do the knit stitch. I hope that